In this problem, we want to calculate the position of the force that is exerted due to water pressure on a straight wall. In the previous problem, we had calculated um, the magnitude of this force. And so if we have a wall that looks like this, more or less, we had water like so on this side of the on this side of the wall, not quite like so, yes. Um, and we had calculated the magnitude of this force. So we had F here, Fp, which was about uh, 6 mega newtons. And what we want to do now is we want to calculate how far away from the bottom this force applies. And we're going to call this distance Rf, like so. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to calculate the moment that is exerted around this bottom hinge. We're going to say the bottom of the wall is like a hinge, a rotating hinge. And we're going to calculate the amount of torsion that is exerted by this for by this by the water pressure on the wall, and so we'll be able to know we will be able to calculate the moment uh, due to pressure that is ex exerted by water on this wall. With the force and the moment, we can calculate the radius because we know that the moment divided by the force is equal to the radius. So it's mostly an engineering problem, um, and this engineering problem is solved very much like the force problem was solved. So let's take a look at the side of the wall where we have here the wall seen from the side and we still have the water surface, which is over here. Um, inside this water surface, we said we would position ourselves to determine pressure with the coordinate Z that would start at the water surface. And we would be at this height, we would be here um, at this position away from the bottom here at the coordinate r along the wall. This r goes from zero here up to r max at the top. And we would be looking here at a little bit of wall, at a, at a little strip of wall, horizontal strip of wall with thickness dr, like so. Well, what is the moment that is exerted? On this tiny bit of surface, we have a force. When this force is here, a line here, it is called df. And this force is the same thing as a tiny moment here, dm, exerted about the bottom uh, hinge or the bottom edge of the wall. So how do we calculate the moment? Well, we're going to calculate the moment the same way we calculated the force. We're going to say the total moment due to pressure is uh, the sum of a great deal of little moments, actually an infinite number of little moments. And it's going to go like this, dm dm due to pressure. Let's just call the moment m. It's going to probably be easier to, to write. So the moment is the integral of a whole sum of tiny moments. And every time, each of those tiny moments is the radius away from the bottom at which the tiny force applies, multiplied by this tiny force, df. And this force, df, is relatively simple to express. We've done this before when we calculated the force. So let me carry out this integral below so I have a bit more space. And we're going to write it like this. We're going to say the moment is the integral of r df, and it is the integral of r df being now pressure multiplied by the tiny bit of area ds. Pressure is going to be guided by the distance away from the top surface at which we are. It's going to be rho gz. Um, so let's rewrite this like this. We can say this is the integral of r rho g z here. And then ds, this tiny bit of surface, is the tiny bit of height that we have here multiplied by the width of the whole panel. And the width would be here, this 21 meters that we have here on the bottom, bottom right of the screen. Um, and so I'm going to have L1, which is 21 meters, and then dr over here. From where to where do we carry out this integral? Where you carry out from r is equal to zero, the bottom, right all the way up to r is equal to r max. And so let's plot the maximum values that we have here. This is going to be here, r max, like this. This is distance. This is now the coordinate. So we carry out the integral from r is equal to zero to r is equal to r max, like this. OK. Now remains the same problem that we had before, which is that we have an integral here, which is determined in terms of dr. Uh, but inside this, we have a z. 
And so we're stuck with the Z here until we transform the Z or re-express the Z in terms of R. How do we do this? We have to look at our diagram over here and we have to express Z in this diagram as a function of R. And the way we deal with this is we say Z is equal to Z max, which is the maximum value of Z, which happens to be the top value here, like so. This would be Z max. And then from Z max, Z can only decrease. It starts as Z max, and then as I grow up with R here, it is going to decrease every time by an amount which is equal to R. And so I have Z is equal to Z max minus R, the coordinate R, like this. So this is a geometrical constraint that translates um, the constraint of gravity positive downwards with the constraints of following my panel, which may follow another direction. And this equation here, this bit here, we're going to include inside this integral here. And so let's carry this out. M is equal to now the integral from zero to R max of R rho G Z now becomes Z max minus R, Z max minus R like this. And then we have L1 and we have dr. Let's uh, move uh, the terms that can be moved outside of the integral. And those are all that do not depend on R. And those are rho G and L1. So I'm gonna write them out like so. And then we carry out the integral from zero to R max of R Z max. Yes and then minus r squared, like this. And this is done with respect to r, dr, like so. Okay, this is done. Now all the difficult parts are there, um, are done, and we're just left with some basic algebra. Um, this is not a very difficult integral. So let's see if I can carry it out without goofing up. Uh, we have z max r is going to integrate, is going to integrate as z max one half of r squared and then minus r squared is going to integrate as minus one third of r cube like this now this primitive function we evaluate between r max and zero and so we can write the final result now as being the moment is equal to rho g l1 times one half of z max r max squared minus one half no i'm sorry one third of r max squared cube like this and this is the moment this is what we want to calculate so let's put numbers in this and then let's see uh, how we can calculate the radius based on this. So let's put numbers first, and then we have density is 10 to the power of three, 1000 kilograms per meter cube. Uh, gravity is 9.81. Um, let me rewrite this, this is not very clean. It's harder to write when I'm on the bottom of the screen, like this. I multiply by L1. L1 happens to be here at the bottom uh, right of the screen, 21. Multiply by one half of Z max is the maximum Z happens to be eight meters. R max is also eight meters. Like this. Um, and we rearrange this to type it in more easily. So I'm going to say this is 9.81 times 10 to the power 3 times 21 times 8 cube multiplied by 1 half minus 1 third. This is uh, not necessary, but it makes typing into the calculator easier and reduces the chances that I mess it up. Um, so I did this for you before, and this turns out to be 1.758 times 10 to the power 7 newton meters this is the unit of the moment like so now let's square up the final result like so yes 
All right. It's very hard to estimate how big or small a number this is. Um, forces due to pressure tend to be very large. Um, but we can check the, or we can have an idea of how bad or good the result is when we calculate the final radius. So let's calculate the radius now. Let me go back here to the top and um, take a look again at the radius that we want to calculate. We want to calculate from the previous page here, the distance away from the bottom hinge at which the force applies. And for this, the equation that we want to write is this RF is equal to the moment uh, divided by the force. So we're going to take the value of the moment divided by the value of the force, and we're going to get the value of the radius. So let me move down um, and take another page. This is going to be here. The radius is going to be the moment divided by the force. The moment is 1.758 times 10 to the power 7. This is in Newton meters. And I divide this by a force, which is in Newtons, which happens to be 6.5. 592 times 10 to the power 6 newtons. We calculated this previously. And if you type this in, you get a value of uh, 2.667 meters. This is the RF value here. So we can briefly check uh, that this makes sense because we have an 8 meter height in total. So I want definitely this radius here to be less than 8 meters. I don't want it to be a few millimeters. And it turns out the force here uh, that we calculated before, this force exerts 2.7 meters away from the bottom. So this is how you calculate the position of a force uh, due to pressure on a flat wall in fluid mechanics.